You know, it's difficult to watch a loved one struggle with Alzheimer's or dementia. Researchers from USF are working on a solution to prevent the onset of those diseases through brain games. That was the day she first got her hair done. For Elise Turba, moments with her mom are precious and in recent times, bittersweet. This is the first time that we were permitted to hug after a year in isolation. She thought I had abandoned her. My mother is in a long-term care facility with dementia, and it breaks my heart every time I go in there to see her. Elise is a clinical nurse, and with her mother's condition, she thinks about whether she could be affected down the road. I think it possibly could be because of my mother having the disease that there's a possibility that I could end up with dementia. So she's taking part in the PACT study at USF. Which uh, stands for Preventing Alzheimer's with Cognitive Training. is a five-year clinical trial where we are uh, investigating the effectiveness of cognitive training or brain games on the computer to delay cognitive decline, ultimately hoping that they prevent dementia. This is our training room. After initial training at USF, participants will work out their brains at home with internet games. By training my brain, I'm hoping to do what I can do when I train my muscles um, lifting weights. I want to be able to then train my brain to recognize uh, and be more attentive to in the future. It's part of looking at ways to stave off these diseases without the use of drugs. One in nine adults 65 and older in the U.S. have dementia. Um, that's about 6.5 million Americans, and that number is expected to almost double by 2050. And we do not have a cure for Alzheimer's disease. So prevention is really our best bet, um, and certainly is likely to be the cheapest and the easiest way to combat this devastating disease. Elise isn't just thinking about her mom, but future generations. This is one of the reasons why I am doing this, so I can maintain my senses about me as I get older, so I can see these, all these darlings grow up. And researchers are looking for candidates 65 and older who haven't had any cognitive decline. They also got funding to collect blood samples from those willing participants to help them look for blood-based biomarkers for dementia, too. Now, if you're interested in taking part in this packed study, we did put a link at fox13news.com. You can look for it right there in the Scene on TV section. And so hopefully some people will sign up and help participate. And leads us some answers for us. Absolutely. Which would be good. Affect the future yeah. of many. Okay.